Okay, you two, I've got a big job for the both of you to take care of. I need you to pick up a family heirloom of mine. Oh, you mean over at the Lost and Found? No, more like the bottom of the ocean. That's a weird place to put an heirloom. Hey, so, I have a question. Why? Why do I need you to get it, or why is it in the ocean? Why all that? Why anything? Well, for starters, this family heirloom isn't just some ordinary heirloom. It's been passed down from every nook for generations. But th that's exactly what an ordinary heirloom is. I got it from my mother, who got it from her father, who got it from his father, who wanted it in a game of Scrabble against some guy named Terry, I think. And he made it in an arts and crafts class that he only took to impress a girl he liked. Did Terry win the girl's heart? No, he died. And why do we have to get it back? It's your guy's fault it's down there in the first place. You geniuses waterlogged my store when you flooded the town. My old store is off in that direction, so just take a boat out there and get it back. Hold on, we saved the day by flooding the town. You should be thanking us. You know what? You're absolutely right. I should be thanking you for causing millions of bells worth of property damage. Come to think of it, nobody else knows you blew up the dam, do they? That sounds like something you'd want to keep a secret. It sure would be a shame if that got out and you guys got cancelled now, wouldn't it? Oh no! He's right! Cancelling people is the hip new thing! Okay, fine, Nook. We'll go get your precious heirloom. Just don't go around spreading misinformation about us. I knew you'd come around. That's the kindness I'd expect from my island representatives. That's just a fake title you made up. You want to tell him that? Come on, Jake. I got the boat ready. We have a lot of responsibility as island representatives. It would be like telling him Zipper T isn't a real bunny. He doesn't know about that either. Good luck, boys. Try not to have too much fun. Thanks, Nook. See ya. Ah, <sighs> now I can get back to embezzling in peace. Looks like the raccoon is leaving some errand boys up to the task. How typical. Wouldn't expect old Nook to chew his own food if someone can do it for him. Oh, my mom used to do that for me, but that was socially acceptable because I was a baby. And the penguin. Let's start tailing him. Your cousin Red's gonna make us a profit. Jesus, I've seen this post like 20 times today. You should jump in, Jake. The water's refreshing. Except for all the salt. There's a lot of salt in salt water. I'll pass. I don't want to get any of my clothes wet. You find anything down there? I got crabs. Anything else? Let's see here. I found this wig. That's seaweed. And this shoe. That's your shoe. And this scallop. Did somebody say scallops? Did you happen to come across the one thing we came out here for? Was that thing a sea bass? Has anyone ever wanted a sea bass? Well, it's at least a sea blue. <laughs> Nook's heirloom. We are looking for Nook's heirloom. Alex, did you at least see it down there? No, but he didn't really tell us what it looked like. Yeah, he... Wait, you're right. He never told us what it looked like. How are we supposed to find this damn thing if we don't even know what it looks like? I know what it looks like. I've seen it. Down here, fellas. Hey, how's it going? Um, hello? You seen Nook's heirloom? Oh, I've seen a lot of things. My name's Isopod, but you can call me Isopod. Can you take us to the heirloom, Mr. Isopod? Please. Mr. Isopod was my father's name. Actually, he wasn't my real dad. He was married to my mother, though. Anyway, yeah, I can help you get that heirloom back if you like. That would be great! Alex, didn't your parents ever warn you about talking to strangers? They did, but this guy isn't a stranger, he's an Isopod. Yeah, an isopod that randomly popped up and asked us if we wanted help finding an heirloom he already knows about. Doesn't that seem a little sketchy to you? Wait a second. How does this isopod we just met already know about the heirloom and knows it belongs to Tom Nook? Oh, I'm so glad it finally clicked. I thought I was gonna have to spell it out for you and... You must be an old friend of Nook's, right? <laughs> okay, I'm stepping in now. Sorry, isopod, but we'll pass on getting your help. You're obviously trying to pull a fast one on us. I bet you don't even know who Nook is. Raccoon, blue eyes, likes money. Well, th that's an easy one. I, I mean, Nook is an infamous salesman. That doesn't prove you know about him personally, or that you know about his heirloom. You mean the heirloom his family got from some guy named Terry that he blackmailed you into getting back? Wait, how, how, how did you- Your name's Jake. 
you knitted that scarf yourself, and you think the Bee Gees are cool. What? I don't think the Bee Gees are cool. <laughs> You're such a liar. Your face is so red, dude. <laughs> and you're Alex. You love monster movies, the color purple, and every night you scream yourself to sleep. Whoa, how did you know all that? Are you a mind reader? Hold on, you scream yourself to sleep? Allow me to answer all your questions with one simple action. Okay, I have more questions. Magic. It's, it's magic. I'm a magic isopod. Oh, cool. With my magic isopod powers, not only can I delve into your minds and see your most inner thoughts and memories. That seems really illegal. But I can also use these powers to help you get that heirloom back from the kindness of my iso heart. Are you gonna use your powers to lift the heirloom out of the water for us? No, I can only lift myself. But what I can do is this. It's like getting to the bottom of a bag of potato chips. It's in my eyes! You're welcome. We're welcome? For what? For nearly blinding and suffocating us? Look at your necks. Whoa, Jake, I didn't know you had tattoos on your neck. Tattoos? What? Wait, are these gills? You guessed it, brother. Now you'll have an easier time grabbing that heirloom. Shall we get swimming? I don't know. Are, are you sure it's okay? Come on, Jake. Now that we're freaks who can breathe on land and air, nothing can stop us. Let's go! No, wait! Ah, oh, man, my phone was in my pocket. Um, what was that? Rod, give me an update. And you better not say anything ridiculous this time. Um, sir, the two humans started talking to some magical roly-poly looking thing. Nikki gave them gills, and now he's taking them to their heirloom. Ha! Fucking interns. All right, you two swim after him. Make sure you get that heirloom. What are you gonna do, boss? Why, I have the most important job of them all. Staying on the boat. Now go. <laughs> it's a darn shame those boys have to do Nook's dirty work. Cause now they'll be sleeping with the scallops. <laughs> scallops? Please tell me someone said scallops. So how far are we from this heirloom? Not much farther now. Just keep kicking those legs. There it is. Nook's Homes. <laughs> I'm feeling a little nostalgic looking at it. I miss the old days. I know what you mean. But sometimes turning over a new leaf means looking to new horizons. Don't f***ing talk to me for the rest of the trip. Crazy to think that Nook used to work here. I wish I could experience such a life. Ah, Mr. Pod. I need you to transfer these files down to Deborah on accounting. Nah. Ah, <sighs> if only. Can we just grab the heirloom and leave? Oh, yeah. It's somewhere in the back. So that's it, huh? Yep, the heirloom. There it is, in all its glory. So you're telling me we swam all the way down here just to pick up some blue misshapen rock? It's not just a blue rock, you fool. Look, there's an inscription on it. To those who findeth this stone, followeth the instructions below to gain the key to enlightenment and eternal life. Whoa, maybe this stone isn't ordinary after all. Steppeth one. Becometh a vegan and doth yoga. All right, the inscription's a bunch of bulls. Let's just get this thing out of here. Not so fast. We'll be taking that heirloom. Who are these guys? Uh, hold on. Do they have gills too? No. We're just really good at holding our breath. It's actually rather fascinating. Since I'm a penguin, I can stay underwater for about 18 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile, Sly over here can go for an entire hour without coming up for air. Though I guess the time varies depending on what we're doing. All this talking I'm doing is definitely limiting it. Hopper, huh? They left while you were talking. Oh, come on. That's so rude. Here I am trying to educate them on our species, and they don't even stick around for the part where I tell them that alligator genders are determined by temperature. Wait, really? That's... 
That's actually fascinating. It is, isn't it? They're gaining on us. Isopod, take the heirloom and get the shore. We'll hold them off. Wow, that's pretty generous, giving me the easy job. All right, you guys take care then, suckers. Jake, I don't think we can take these guys. We can't, but check this out. It's at least a C plus. <laughs> we may not be able to take them on ourselves, but we have the entire ocean on our side. Ooh, I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Are you actually, or is this just another misunderstanding like earlier? You're saying we should use sea life to stop them. Okay, okay, good. Just checking. Mmm, those punks! Wait, Sly. They have the ocean on their side. What does that even mean? I've got a jellyfish. And here comes the stinger. You know, all your screaming is really getting on my nerves. Maybe you should clam it. Huh. Ocean sunfish? More like ocean sun disc. <laughs> Say, Alex, didn't the doctor call earlier? He sure did. He said these two had something. What was that again? Oh, that's right, I remember. He said... You, you got, got crabs! We can't get the heirloom, sir. They're just too much for us. <sighs> I had a feeling you two would fail me. That's why your cousin Red always has a plan B. Or in this case, a plan C. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> No more nautical puns. Wait a minute. This is an ordinary fish bait. This is... <gasps> Kraken bait! Huh. That went surprisingly well. We better swim back to the isopod and return that heirloom to Nook. I don't think they'll be bothering us anymore. Huh. Something's off. Usually this is the part where things get really bad for us. Like the bad guys usually have the upper hand for a little longer or something. Why are you tapping me? Can't you see I'm in the middle of not getting contradicted? Holy Kraken! Whoa! <laughs> That's what you get for interfering! I should have thought this plan through! All of this over a stupid blue rock! Woohoo! Alex, we gotta find a way out of this! Maybe we could play dead! Somehow, I don't think that's going to work. It looks like this is it! Damn, you guys really got yourselves in a pickle, didn't you? Isopod, help us, quick! We're about to get eaten by this giant squid! It looks more like an octopus! Does it really look like that matters right now? Can you use your magic to calm it down? Sorry to say, kids, but none of my powers can stop this beast. However, there is one thing I can do. If I get enough velocity, I can collide into the Kraken and blow us both up. It might kill you guys, though. I mean, nothing's gonna stop that now. <laughs> good point, good point. Hold this. Before I go, I just want to thank you guys for everything. This is the most fun I've ever had. I feel like I've known you my whole life, even though it hasn't even been 10 minutes. And Jake, I just want you to know that no matter what happens, you'll always be in my heart. I love you. Wait, what? That's all I needed to hear. Good job, you two. You got the heirloom back without any problems. I wouldn't say that. We lost someone. Uh-huh, yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> yep, safe and sound. Hold on. Excuse you? Huh? What, the bell bag? Didn't I mention it? No! 
You never told us anything but a vague, dull, boring fucking story about your damn heirloom! How many times are we gonna say heirloom? Okay, okay, so this stone was never actually an heirloom. It was just a secret vault for some leftover bells there wasn't room for in my main vault. I can't afford to lose even a single bell, you know. How much is in that bag? A hundred bells. Fifty bells. Unbelievable! I risk my life and limbs for 50 bells! Uh, that's it. I'm going home, and I'm taking a long, long shower. Got room for one more? No, I don't have- I- Isopod? You're alive? Yeah, man. I actually forgot. Part of being a magic isopod means I'm also immortal. Trust me, I tried dying. Like, just a minute ago. Well, all's well that ends well. And I got my money, you got your friend, today was an A+. It's at least a C+. What's that supposed to mean? Oh! Why are there so many sea bass? Oh. You wanna go get some food? Oh, yeah. Sure. I could go for some scallops right about now. Oh no, you said scallops that time! Mm -hmm.